Hello friends, welcome back. Hearty welcome to you. Let us look at this problem as part of partial fractions and using power series expansion. Find the coefficient of x cube in the power series expansion of 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2 into 1 minus x. Now we know how to deal with partial fractions so we can go ahead with that bit after that we have to convert them into power series expansions then we have to see what is the quotient of x cube so the first part will be partial fractions then once we simplify that we will convert them into power series then we will try to expand and see what is the power of quotient of x cube before moving forward with that we just want to spend couple of minutes of time on what is a power series expansion and some simple examples of power series so any series which is of the form of n equal to 0 to infinity cn into x minus a whole to the power of n is called as power series where c is a coefficient and cn and a are numbers if n equal to 1, it's like c1 into x minus a plus c2 into x minus a whole square. So, if you are able to write that, then it is called as a power series expansion. Now, let's look at some simple examples of power series. one by one minus x if we expand it it's in the form of given whatever n equal to zero to infinity c n here it is not there it's equal to one x minus a a equal to one one minus x whole to the power of n n is minus one here now the expansion is one plus x plus x square plus x cube like that kth term will be x power k so that is 1 by 1 minus x let us say now instead of that we have 1 by 1 plus x then it will become 1 minus x plus x square minus x cube plus like that when I go to the kth term depends upon whether it's even or odd so I'll write down minus 1 whole to the power of k into x power k plus that's how we can write 1 by 1 plus x similarly we can write down 1 by 1 minus x whole square which is given by 1 plus 2x plus 3x square plus 4x cube if you are able to understand the pattern you know that it's nothing but k plus 1 into x power k k plus 1 into x power k if it is 1 by 1 plus x whole square then it will be 1 minus 2x alternating plus and minus plus 3x square minus 4x cube plus we will have we don't know whether k is even or odd so we'll write down minus 1 whole to the power of k into k plus 1 into x power k plus so these are the some power series which we will use generally so we leverage these expansions in example whatever we are doing now so let's go ahead and finish first the partial fractions part we have been given 5x plus 6 by x plus 2 into 1 minus x I'll write down 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2 into 1 minus x we see that x plus 2 1 minus x are linear so i can write down a by x plus 2 plus b by 1 minus x which is equal to a into 1 minus x plus b into x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 into 1 minus x now comparing the terms 5x plus 6 with this 
because the denominators are same we can compare the numerators when I compare x terms I will have 5x plus 6 I have 5 here x terms are a into minus x is coefficient is minus a plus b we are comparing the x terms there then we will compare the constant term let us see what happens we have 6 equal to a into 1 is a plus 2b so we have a plus 2b equal to 6 and b minus a equal to 5 so we can add this up we will write down b minus a b minus a is 5 and 2b plus a is equal to 6 we can just simply add them up we will get we will get 3b is equal to 11 or can I say b equal to 11 by 3 once I know b equal to 11 by 3 a is equal to 6 minus 2b that is equal to 6 minus 22 by 3 which is equal to minus 4 divided by 3 so the value of a is minus 4 by 3 and the value of b is 11 by 3 so let us keep it there so now let us write down that 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2 into 1 minus x is equal to a by x plus 2 minus 4 by 3 divided by x plus 2 plus b 11 by 3 divided by 1 minus x now we want to get this into power series expansion so for that what I will do I will write them as I will say minus 4 by 3 into 1 by you remember the expansions we have gone through are starting with number 1 1 plus x 1 minus x 1 minus x whole square or 1 plus x whole square so what we will do now is we will try to convert so for that 2 plus x can I write down 2 into 1 plus x by 2 so that I got it in the form of 1 plus x format similarly plus 11 by 3 I don't need to do anything so I can write it as 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 1 if I simplify I will have minus 2 by 3 into 1 plus x by 2 whole to the power of minus 1 plus 11 by 3 into 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 1 now we will use the expansion whatever we learned so it will be minus 2 by 3 then bracket starts the first one will be 1 the next one will be minus of x by 2 next one will be x by 2 whole square then the next one will be minus of x by 2 whole cube like that we continue since we are interested in x cube since we are interested in x cube we just leave it there then we move forward to the next one then 11 by 3 and again bracket starts we have 1 minus x whole to the power of minus 1 according to the formula it is 1 by 1 minus x which is nothing but equal to 1 plus x plus x square plus x cube and it will continue forever so now let us take the terms which is interest to us our interesting terms are x cube terms because we need the quotient of x cube terms so let us take those terms and add the coefficient to get the quotient of x cube in the power expansion so the next step will be I will write down I will just only take where x cube terms are there and look at the quotient it will be minus 2 by 3 into I am just writing down the term first then we will take the quotient minus 2 by 3 into x cube by 8 and there is minus there so plus 11 by 3 into again we have x cube only here so what's the quotient now minus 2 into minus 1 is 2 2 by 24 divided by 11 by 3 can we simplify this as 1 by 12 plus 11 by 3 
or can we simplify that further as 1 by 12 multiplying 11 by 3 with 4 will make it as 44 by 12 which is equal to 45 divided by 12 which is equal to 15 divided by 4 so the coefficient of x cube in the power series expansion of 5x plus 6 divided by x plus 2 into 1 minus x is 15 by 4. Now it's like partial fractions problem. Only one thing once we found out the a and b value, we try to convert them into the known power series expansion and apply the formula. Look for only that term for which we need the coefficient. See wherever it is available, just add all the coefficients, we get our answer. We'll do a couple of more problems on this particular topic, power series expansion uh, in partial fractions. Thanks for your time and support. Bye for now.